So if you've seen Abercrombie's vegan leather pants and then found out that there were four different fits to choose from and you don't know which one is the best for you, then this video is for you. Or maybe you just want to see what they look like on a normal, unposed person. Their vegan leather pants come in two main fit styles, which are the 90s straight and the 90s relaxed. And then each of those comes in a curve love fit style as well. And curve love just means that there's an additional two inches of fabric throughout the waist and thigh to help eliminate waist gap. So I'm going to be reviewing each of those four in black, regular length, size two, as well as an additional one in the short length and then um, just a pair of 90s straight pants in the color gray. Also regular length for those as well. And for reference, I am five foot six, 120 pounds, and have a 31 inch inseam. Okay, so first comparing the 90s straight and the 90s relaxed. The main difference between these two styles is that the 90s straight kind of tapers in at the knee, whereas the 90s relaxed doesn't. And now the next thing I'm gonna mention, I'm not sure if it was a manufacturing defect or not, but it kind of seems that way. First thing is that you can see that the waistline sits a little bit lower than the other pair, despite having the same tag that states that it's ultra high rise. And despite both of the curve love fits also sitting at the higher waistline. The second thing is that they were also a bit tighter in the waist compared to the other three pairs of pants. So yeah, I'm not sure if that's to be expected from all 90s relaxed pants or if these were just the ones I got, but maybe it's something to keep in mind when you're shopping. Next, we've got the 90 straight pants and the Curve Love 90 straight pants. You can kind of see from the front and definitely see from the back that it's a little bit more baggy with the Curve Love pair than it is with the regular 90 straight pants. And now to compare the 90s relaxed with the Curve Love 90s relaxed. I think here you can kind of see the same thing definitely more noticeable in the back where you can see the additional fabric kind of causes a bagginess. And again, the regular 90s relaxed pants seem to be lower rise and tight, but I'm not sure if that's a manufacturing defect or not. Next, I'm comparing two different lengths, regular and short. I have a 31 inch inseam and this is what each of them looks like on me. There isn't too big of a difference without shoes on, but you'll see when I add some chunky boots, you can definitely see the difference in height. Neither one looks bad, but they are two very separate looks. Now I'm showing what the gray pants look like. This is a very trendy color right now, and I think it kind of borders on a mix between gray and brown. I wouldn't necessarily say that they are completely gray. Here you can see I've kind of paired it with the same color sweater, which I would definitely call more of a taupe or a brownish gray. I would say that the positives of these pants apply to all of them because they're all about the material. It's soft, it's stretchy, it doesn't feel constrictive, and especially for if you're going for like a dressed up look, you don't have to feel uncomfortable wearing it. The potential negatives that I see for these pants are that they might get a little bit hot and sweaty on the inside. Um, when I was trying these on, I didn't have any of them on for too long, but there were definitely some moments that I kind of felt like my legs were getting sweaty. Another thing for me personally is that the back of my legs is kind of baggy and just not smooth in every single pair. Whereas when I look at pictures online or on Instagram, I see that the back of people's legs is straight, so I'm not really sure what is going on. Maybe, I don't know. I don't think it's a size issue because even on the regular fit pants, the pants look tight across the back of my legs, but they still have that baggy rippling effect. Another thing for me is I'm just not sure about the longevity of these pants. Since they're vegan leather, that essentially just means a form of plastic. And I've definitely had some cheaper handbags in the past that were made of cheap plastic that ended up cracking and then just flaking off. So I wonder if that is gonna be a reality for these pants as well. Um, especially if you wash them a number of times. The regular price for these pants is $110 each, but I think it's possible to either catch them when they're on sale or when there's a promo going on. For example, I bought all of these in two separate orders, and in the first order, for some reason, the gray pants were just discounted $7, and in the second order, I got all of them for $82.50. When I was shopping, it was free shipping over $99, but if you go to this page on their website, you can see what promotions are currently running. 
Otherwise, there's this page that kind of outlines the standard shipping prices. And you can also have your order shipped to a place for pickup. Abercrombie's return policy is pretty typical. You can return unused and unworn clothes within 30 days of receipt, and you have either the option to go return it in store or have them send you a prepaid mailing label, which will then cost you $7 after they process the return. This applies to the US and I think Canada, so if you live outside of either of those regions, just make sure to check their website yourself. So yeah, that is all folks. I hope this was helpful and let me know if you have any further questions.